Good evening everyone, I'm Nathan, here with my wonderful wife Laura. Hello. And we're going to do a quick review and quick playthrough of Star Wars Lupin Chewy. Yes, now that might sound familiar to some people, especially if you've been watching through all of our uh, videos, because this is based on the game Lupin Louie, which we have reviewed in the past. Which is an early 90s or late 80s Milton Bradley game. Which was re-released, I think, at some yes. point. Yes. Yes. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, uh, it's it's a pretty fun, kind of active game. It's a quick one to set up, quick one to play, easy to learn. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, this is just reskinned for Star Wars, essentially. Yeah, uh, Chewie swings around and he's got a weight in him. Mm -hmm. And depending on how you hit him from underneath using these little like uh, levers. levers, it spins him and flicks him around in unpredictable ways. Yes, the idea is to protect your stormtroopers from Chewie, who is looping around. Yeah, so every time Louis, uh, Louis, <laughs> Chewie hits one of the stormtroopers, he gets knocked down to like your little like. Uh, Oh, it just, it just yeah. gets knocked down. And uh, last one standing wins, essentially. So let's get this sucker out. So yeah, interesting thing, um, there is one difference between this version and the Lupin Louie version that we reviewed some time ago, uh, is that this one is only two to three players, whereas Lupin Louie is up to four players. Yeah, Lupin Louie takes four players, this only takes three, because it's, it's got a try sort of thing instead of four. Yeah, I mean, they could have surely put the fourth one on if Lupin Louie did it, you know? <laughs> so there's the Lupin Chewy, the instructions just bolt the bottom off you go. Uh, we will have a scan of the instructions linked in the description below though just in case you find the game without the info. Um, there's difficulty settings mm -hmm. um, with your little uh, lever you can actually swing it so um, there's less surface area or more surface area depending on if you want to be harder or easier to hit Chewy. Well so you can have it this way um, and that's the harder way because you can only hit him kind of in that one narrow spot whereas if you turn it there's more area where you might hit him as he goes past. Um, these, that's all you do. You just knock yep. them and they go up. So you can have uh, red, green, or yellow. There's a lot of oh, there's different languages. Like, there's yes. a lot of instructions the way half it's in different languages. It really isn't. Uh, so this takes two, two, two double, double A's. A's in the center here. So I'll just double check. You've got to have your batteries. Of course, we, there's two batteries in there, but I don't know how old they are because so we put them in there a while ago. Probably shouldn't have left them in it. There's also two here in the bag. Well, that's, well, that's what you were talking about. Yes, so here, these two fresh ones. Oops, sorry. Let's make sure Lost it's working. Yellow. Sounds like it's working. Looks much more effective when we actually, you know, yeah. All right. attach the parts. So while Nathan's screwing that back in, I will show you the little You like tokens. his eyeballs. It's hard well, to you, see. You but can't see them on this very well. Where's the box though? So there's artwork of the trooper at the front. And his eyes are just, he's gone crazy because obviously he's been knocked down and he's holding himself and he's hurt. It's almost like a, a Mr. Potato <laughs> Head or a McNugget Buddies in there. Uh, so these are the... Oh, now the camera doesn't want to focus. Uh, these are the little tokens. They are all the same and they are double-sided. They're just hard plastic with stickers on either side, which I think you have to stick on yourself. I believe you have yep. to stick them on. It's been a while. We've had it for a while. <laughs> Alright. This is very easy to get all hooked up. So they all clip in, as you can see. Um, if you do, like, knock it around and lift it up, they will sort of come apart, but you, you know, you shouldn't really be being that rough with them, let's All be right. honest. We're going to have to pull All this right. up a bit, aren't we? Oh, right. there yeah. we go. So I assume you're going to play as green. Yes. I will play as red since that's all we can reach, and it's three of these. If, if, if you, you just have enough for the three If players. you're playing three players and you happen to lose all your stormtroopers, you can't win the game, but you can keep on playing yes. to try and get the other players out. Yeah, so say yellow was the first one out, oh no, they're all gone, you just keep hitting it. Alright, come on. I mean, in the end it doesn't really help you personally, but it's fun. Hang on, hang on, he's just playing out of control. <laughs> Did you show this up close? There's, yeah, that's probably not a good shot, hang on. <laughs> so there's, there's Chewy, he's, he's definitely gone nuts. Yeah, he looks kind of mad, he's got his fists up. <laughs> um, the actual original Looping Louie, this is based off, um, was made much more uh, solid. It had a lot more weight to it, um, so there's a weight actually in here, mm -hmm. which causes them to sort of yes go up and down. And obviously, this as you saw 
spins around as well. So uh. it depends on how hard you kind of manage to hit him and at what point when he goes past, how much he spins. Come on, let's get looping. All right, I'm terrible at this, so this will be really fun. So we hit to get him. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to sit here. And apparently he goes nowhere near Nathan. <laughs> Whoa, oh, oh. oh. He's looping. Oh, one of Nathan's hits already down. Oh. So sometimes he'll come back if he spins like that and the weight sends him. Why do I feel like Loop and Louie was a bit quicker? Yeah, I think Loop and Louie works a little bit better as in his movements. It's a bit more natural, fast paced. I mean, this still works in the same way, but as you can see, it's not quite as exciting. Hang on, okay. hang on. Well, <laughs> so, you... Sometimes by this point, our game would be over. Oh, 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 oh. He's really focused on my end here, isn't he? If you hit your like trigger too hard, you can sometimes knock your own tokens in. Yeah, just by like, accidentally kind of shaking it, which is a little bit of a flaw, but. You know, shows you've just got to be careful with Come on, play. Chewy. Get looping, get crazy. <laughs> He's looping, that's for sure. I'm running out of things to say while I'm looping. Um, if you're watching and waiting, feel free to comment down below before you see the result who you think is going to win. This is obviously aimed at younger kids if you didn't sort of gather that. Yes, we are also playing on easy. We all right, have our come on, let's do it hard. Things out. Oh, okay. So it's all about your timing. But he doesn't I mean, go it's... that quick. No. Um, and even playing on hard, it's not hard. If it, you know, for an adult, especially if you're looking. I wonder if doing. you can stop him. If you hold it up. No. <laughs> you can't cheat and just do that though. Hang on. Cheating's the well, name of the game. Cheating. <laughs> that's no good. Oh. oh. Come on. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> well, oh, I lost my hand. Turn it off. So, you probably saw that there. Nathan hit it slightly too hard and actually wobbled his last one down. So, yeah, if you knock it too hard, it falls down through the gap. I don't so. recall that happening with Loop and Louie. It's been a while since I I've played that. I think it does, but, um, I mean, yeah, no, I think it does. I'm just trying to rack my brains. It's been a while since we've played it, as you said. So, it's a little bit of fun. I think just the Loop and Louie is a little bit better. I mean, same mechanism and everything, but I don't know, there's just something. But then again, the original Loop and Louie, I mean, they re-released it, but the original one's quite hard to get these days, and I think it's fairly pricey, so at least they re-released it so other people can enjoy it, even if it's not quite the same as you might remember it. But it is still a bit of fun, and again, it is probably aimed more at children than at people our age. Age four plus. Well, we're four plus. Uh, that's <laughs> technically correct, and that's the best sort of correct. Yes. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know down below if you've played uh, like the original Loop and Louie, maybe you've played Loop and Chewy, or maybe there are other variations that we don't know about. I also didn't realise, but the Death Star is on the back. Yes. Mm. Yes, it is. Hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every single Tuesday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.